It feels like there's an overwhelming number of Assassin's Creed games. Maybe you've been playing since the first Assassin's Creed, or maybe you just jumped into the series with Odyssey. Either way, there's a pretty small chance you've played them all. That's why we compiled this handy little list of every playable assassin in the Assassin's Creed franchise, where they're from, when they're from, and what they did. The series constantly includes little references and nods to protagonists from other installments, so if you feel like you're missing out on something, then we've got you covered. A word of warning, there are spoilers for every Assassin's Creed game in here. A lot of it is big picture plot stuff, so there's not too much detail, but watch with caution if you don't want to know exactly how these games end. Altair ibn Lahad. Altair is playable in most games. Raised to be an assassin by his assassin parents, Altair becomes a master assassin at the ridiculously young age of 24. After he defeats Al Mualim, he becomes the new mentor of the order. Altair is the first assassin to perform comprehensive studies of an Apple of Eden and dramatically reforms the way the assassin order does business. He makes them more secretive, stops the horrible initiation tradition of slicing off one's finger, allows the use of poison, and even redesigns the hidden blade. From there, Altair travels the globe to establish many assassin guilds. Before he dies, Altair amasses a massive library of knowledge, much of which is condensed into his codex. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. The games he's in are the Ezio trilogy, of course. After his father and brothers are hanged by a Templar plot, Ezio begins his journey from a young entitled nobleman to a master assassin. Alongside his quest for vengeance, Ezio reunites Altair's codex with the help of his best buddy, Leonardo da Vinci. Turns out that Ezio is the fabled prophet, fated to open the Vatican's vault. He becomes mentor of the Italian Brotherhood, which he reforms and expands. Over his career, Ezio liberates a bunch of republics from Templar rule, including Rome, Florence, and the Byzantine Empire. His final official act in the order is to unlock Altair's fabled library in Masyaf. After he retires, Ezio helps a Chinese assassin named Xiao Jun before passing away peacefully. Radon Hagedong, aka Connor Kenway. He's playable in Assassin's Creed III and Liberation. This assassin is born and raised in Kanata Seitan, a Native American village which guards the First Temple. After George Washington and a bunch of Templars attack the village, Radon Agedong takes the name of Connor and joins the Brotherhood, even though they had essentially been wiped out by the Templars. Connor wipes out the Templars in return and rebuilds the assassins as a master assassin. Eventually, he becomes close to Washington, who he doesn't initially realize destroyed his village. At the Battle of Chesapeake Bay, Connor kills the Grand Master, who happens to be his father, and secures the safety of the Grand Temple by hiding away the key. Oh, and for what it's worth, in an alternate timeline, he kills a Mad King version of George Washington, corrupted by the Apple of Eden. Haytham Kenway even though his father Edward was an assassin, Haytham joins the Templars after Edward gets assassinated during his childhood. The British Templars send Haytham to America to find the Grand Temple. He locates it, but he's unable to enter, so he stays in the New World, founds the American Rite of the Templar Order, and makes himself Grand Master. The Templars become super powerful under his rule, utterly infiltrating the American government and exterminating all the assassins except for one. Haytham attempts to stir support for the American Revolution in order to create an independent Templar-run country. Desmond Miles Through his two assassin parents, Desmond is related to every assassin we've mentioned so far on this list. As a result, his genes are ridiculously valuable to both the Assassin Order and the Templars. Using a device called the Animus, both organizations want Desmond to relive the memories of his ancestors so they can locate several pieces of Eden. At first, the Templars are holding him prisoner, but the modern-day assassins break him out so he can help them. After he helps find the Grand Temple, Desmond opens it and sacrifices himself to stop the second solar flare and prevent the end of the world. Too bad canceling the apocalypse also releases Juno, a humanity-hating Isu supremacist that Minerva imprisoned long ago. Aveline de Grand Prix Aveline is playable in Assassin's Creed III Liberation. Well, she's the first woman on this list for one thing. She's the daughter of an African slave and a wealthy French merchant. Despite her comfortable lifestyle, Aveline joins the assassins at an early age to combat the oppression of slavery. To that end, Aveline single-handedly rids New Orleans of its Templar-run slave trafficking trade, which also just frees a work camp at Chichen Itza in the process. Unfortunately, the master Templar she has to kill turns out to be her stepmother. Edward James Kenway. He's playable in Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag. Before he ever meets the assassins, Edward is a pirate. At first, he works with the Templars to find a first civilization site called the Observatory. He occasionally crosses paths with the assassins around the West Indies over the years, but ultimately, Edward's only loyal to his wallet. Once he realizes all the destruction his ambition has caused, Edward officially joins the Order and, eventually, secures the Observatory in the name of the Brotherhood. He then moves to London and becomes Grand Master of the British Brotherhood of Assassins. During this time, he conducts important research on the first civilization, research so important that the Templars eventually murder him in front of his child, Haytham, because of it. Aduale. 
He's only playable in Freedom Cry, but he has a key role in Assassin's Creed 4 and Rogue. Adewale is also a pirate, but he's more noble than Edward Kenway. Adewale was born a slave in Trinidad and joins the pirates who raid his plantation. This path eventually leads him to join forces with Edward Kenway as his quartermaster. Adewale encourages Edward to help the assassins, but when Edward doesn't budge, he abandons the captain to join the Brotherhood on his own. Adewale thereafter captains his own ship and becomes an assassin legend, freeing many slaves in the process. He also aids the Maroon Rebellion. Unfortunately, he meets his end at the hands of Shea Patrick Cormick when the Templars purge the assassins from the colonies. Shea Patrick Cormick. He's playable in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Shea joins the assassins at an early age. Eventually, he recovers two pieces of Eden that had been stolen by the Templars. The pieces of Eden point the assassins towards a first civilization temple in Lisbon, so Shea heads there to recover its artifact. Unfortunately, the recovery attempt triggers a catastrophic earthquake that kills thousands of innocent people. When Shea returns, he's furious, so he tries to steal the artifact. But when the assassins catch him, Shea gets shot and left for dead. Deeply disillusioned, Shea defects and is inducted into the Templar Order under Haytham. He then greatly helps the Brits win the Seven Year War and is instrumental in wiping out the colonial assassins. Shea kills several famous assassins, like Adewale and Charles Dorian, and dedicates a chunk of his life to hunting down artifacts for the Templars. Arno Dorian. His game is Assassin's Creed Unity. He also makes a cameo in Rogue since, you know, Shea kills his father. After Arno's assassin father Charles is murdered, the Templar Grandmaster Francois de la Serre takes him under his wing. Then Arno gets wrapped up in a Templar coup and is framed for murdering Francois. While serving time in the Bastille, Arno decides to join the assassins and hunt down this radical new wing of the Templars alongside his lover slash adoptive sister, Elise. They trace the coup to the new Grand Master, who had been manipulating discontent with the aristocracy during the French Revolution. Obviously, Arno kills the Grand Master. Afterwards, Arno keeps a piece of Eden out of Napoleon's hands and eventually rises to the rank of Master Assassin. To honor Elise's wishes, he tries to cultivate peace between assassins and Templars. For a few years, anyway. Eventually, Arno saved Napoleon from a royalist assassination before hunting and assassinating the one responsible. Xiao Jun. She's playable in Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. She also makes an appearance in the short film Embers and, like, sorta possesses Anastasia in Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Xiao Jun is a talented spy rescued by the Brotherhood from life as an imperial concubine. Only she and her mentor survive a purge of the assassins by the Templar-friendly Emperor, forcing them to flee west. Xiao Jun starts training under Ezio, and her training pays off. When she gets back to China, she eliminates the Templar faction, stops a Mongolian invasion, and rebuilds the Chinese Brotherhood as mentor. As an elder assassin, she comes up with the successful plan to finally poison the cruel Zha Jing Emperor. Arbaz Mir. His game is Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. Arbaz's career as an assassin revolves around an ultra-powerful piece of Eden, the Kohinoor. Basically, Arbaz becomes a master assassin by retrieving and or protecting the Kohinoor from British Templars on multiple occasions. He also marries a princess, and turns out to be a pretty bad father. Nikolai Orlov. He's playable in Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Okay, Nikolai has had it rough. He has a few high-profile disasters under his belt. He fails to assassinate the Tsar, which causes the Borky train disaster, and he fails to retrieve a Staff of Eden before Templar Nikola Tesla could use it to blow things up. At least that last incident gave him a sort of sound vision. He does save Princess Anastasia and a precursor box from the Bolsheviks' extermination of the royal family. Except the princess starts to think she's Xiao Jun. Assassin scientists want to experiment on Anastasia in the hopes of extracting Xiao Jun's memories, even if she's harmed in the process. Nikolai then betrays the Brotherhood, saves Anastasia, and escapes to America. He has a son, but eventually the Brotherhood catches up to Nikolai and takes him down. Jacob Fry. He's playable in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Ever since Jacob was six, his father raised him to be an assassin along with his twin sister, Evie. The twins moved to London at a time when the Templars had wiped out every assassin in the city, save for one. Jacob starts a gang, the Rooks, to weaken the Templar-backed blighters. After weakening the Templars with all kinds of fun stuff like street fights, Jacob and Evie eventually kill the Grand Master. They're then knighted by Queen Victoria. Jacob becomes mentor to the British assassins and rebuilds assassin influence and personnel in London. He also trains Jack the Ripper and has to deal with him when he, you know, starts killing innocent people. Evie Fry. She's also playable in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. As Jacob's twin sister, Evie has a similar childhood. Raised as an assassin, moves to London, you know the story. But instead of murdering tons of Templars in street battles like her brother, Evie sticks closer to the tenets of the Creed. She's more focused on recovering pieces of Eden, particularly the Shroud of Eden. She gets her hands on the Shroud after she and her brother assassinate the Grand Master. And yes, Evie also gets knighted. Afterwards, she moves to India and, as a master assassin, hangs out with the Indian Brotherhood, but comes back to London to help Jacob clean up that whole Jack the Ripper mess that he created. Bayek. 
His game is Assassin's Creed Origins. When Bayek's father was killed, he inherited his post as Magi, a member of an elite force that protects the pharaoh's interest and the Egyptian people. After Bayek's son is murdered by the Order of the Ancients, basically proto-Templars, he and his wife Aya systematically go after their members, assassinating them one by one. Bayek becomes Cleopatra's personal Magi until she aligns herself with the Order at the end of the Alexandrine Civil War. He and Aya then found an organization called the Hidden Ones to retaliate against the Order and defend free will. The Hidden Ones and its tenets eventually evolve into the Assassin Brotherhood and the Creed. Bayek works to recruit members and expands the Hidden Ones to several cities. Aya, aka Amunet. She's in Assassin's Creed Origins. Like her husband, Aya's number one goal was to completely destroy the Order of the Ancients to avenge the death of her son. She acted as Cleopatra's right-hand woman to help the young queen ascend the Egyptian throne. But once Cleopatra got chummy with Julius Caesar and joined the Order, Aya split off with Bayek to form the Hidden Ones. From there, she went on to make history, stabbing Julius Caesar herself and years later convincing Cleopatra to take her own life by drinking poison. Aya technically didn't kill Cleopatra herself, but she's still known as Amunet, the legendary assassin who killed Cleopatra with an asp. Cassandra. She's playable in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Before she's even born, Cassandra has an amazing ancient Greek pedigree. She's the daughter of Pythagoras and the granddaughter of King Leonidas. Since Grandpa Leonidas was a human Isu hybrid, that makes her part Isu too. She even wields his old Isu made spear. Cassandra grows up to be a Mystheos and valiantly attempts to save her half brother Alexios from the Cult of Cosmos. Cassandra grows up to destroy the power hungry Cult of Cosmos, seal away the city of Atlantis, and then works against the Order of the Ancients. Eventually, she gets her hands on the staff of Hermes Trismegistus, becoming immortal and living all the way until 2018. She finally dies when she passes the staff along to her ancestor, Layla Hassan, urging her to destroy the Pieces of Eden as her last request. So that's the entire Assassin's Creed roster so far, but it's only gonna get bigger when Assassin's Creed Ragnarok comes out. Any predictions for what the newest Viking Assassin is gonna be like? Let us know. And also make sure you subscribe to the leaderboard. We're 1 million players and counting. I've been your host, Dan. Thank you for watching.